as uh, Marianne said earlier this year, the report, uh, facilities and financing needs for seafarer welfare in the seaports, it became uh, public. There is, I think, on the website of the ICMA, there is a summary in English is, uh, is available. So the symposium took place in Rotterdam, June 1st. Um, and the Erasmus University, <coughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm in the end of a flu. Um, but uh, the, the Erasmus University uses a lighthouse as a metaphor for the quality and stability of welfare organizations for seafarers in Dutch seaports. Here are a few uh, numbers. In the Netherlands, the amount estimated, the number of seafarers is 1,070,000. The number of ships arriving is 45,000. The number of seamen centers, seafarer centers is seven. And the number of uh, visitors to the seamen's houses is 32,000. It's estimated, of course. Um, well, it's about a, a home away from home. And uh, a home from, away from home, uh, the Erasmus University said, well, it's not, it's not something the market can provide. And what we see in the Netherlands, we tried in earlier years to, to give it, uh, to, commercial parties tried to arrange it, but uh, it's more a public thing, uh, says the Erasmus University now. And I think that's really true. Um, so that's an, a really important thing. And in the Netherlands, or the parties are not ready yet to take this for granted. So at the moment we have a lot of conversations with several parties. Another problem uh, is that private operators are restricting access and also the unsurpassable dis distances make seafarers dependent on third parties, uh, especially in Rotterdam. The, um, the distances are really, really big. Um, that's why we, we believe, or Erasmus believes, seafarer center is a public function. <coughs> Then we go to the lighthouse model. The light from the lighthouse is focused on the ships with seafarers on board. For the people ashore, the light is also symbolizes visibility for the work seafarers do to bring merchandise and prosperity to the ports. The lighthouse model outlines the contours for a perspective on further development of the seafarer center. Good welfare facilities require cooperation. The more integration of policies and activities take place between stakeholders, the more future-proof welfare work becomes. Seafarer centers want to improve their locations and better position the themselves for seafarers who want to go on shore leave. The lighthouse model assumes an easily accessible location with geographical catchment with a geographical catchment area that is built on a number of foundation layers, institutional embedding and cooperation, financial stability, organizations, and attractive range of services. And Jason, okay, wait one moment. Without a strong institutional and financial foundation, welfare organizations cannot provide the care and quality expected from them according to international standards and laws and regulations. Such a paradox can only be solved through closer cooperation, better procedures, better coordination between policy and implementations and, and mindful governance and an eye for the, for the human dimension. Cooperation must be proactive rather than reactive, pragmatic rather than problematic, one that rolls on the good public private practices of the past, but is adapted to the needs of seafarers today, and of course, with financially sound seafarer centers. Then Jason asked us, so what is the impact of the report on the, eh, for you and everything? 
So we take out the four levels which are mentioned there. First, institutional embedding and collaboration. In the Netherlands, there is or was an institutional vacuum, which means that only civil society organizations like us are concerned about, for example, human rights, poor working conditions, and other abuses. They look at each other without actually joining forces. Forces. We also see this happening with the welfare work of seafarers. The corona epidemic prompted seafarers to be regarded as a critical profession. Partly due to the Erasmus UPT report, seafarer welfare is on the agenda of, of the various uh, authorities, but there is still a way to go. The objective is a national policy, a national structure and or a national guideline. Consultations take place with and by the Ministry of Infrastructure and Water Management, municipalities, port companies, port welfare, ship owners, trade unions and commercial parties. The most logical source of finding finance in seafarers welfare is a surcharge on the port fees. That's what everybody believes. In the Netherlands, and that's important when you look at our uh, side, <coughs> there is no national basis eh, like uh, a state church like MTS has or uh, the public tax for seafarers welfare as it is in Germany. Eh, but in also uh, we have a wide variation of decision makers, also secular uh, decision makers. Now, every year for the seafarer centers, it is a challenge to get the operation financially closed. A good financial basis enables to determine the development perspective. There is coverage, we have, uh, we have coverage requested for three permanent employees. And for each uh, seafarer center, that means uh, about 70% of the fixed costs. And that is something all the seafarer centers have in common. So that's, they are all completely founded differently and financed differently, but with all the seven seafarer centers, uh, when you uh, do this, you, when, uh, when you uh, arrange that amount of money, 70% of the fixed cost will be, will be uh, yeah, everywhere the same. Um, then we go to the organization. For us, the seafarer centers, there is also a lot of work to be done. We need to professionalize, what also means more paid professionals, um, like a manager, a financial commercial manager, a chaplain. We need more volunteers. We will be confronted with more governance, more compliance, accountability. And what is really important is collaboration is key, especially in such a big area as Rotterdam. And then we come to the services. Last, last but not least, there we see, of course, the primary needs of the seafarer, a, a, a home away from home, but free transport, internet connectivity, communication, shops, a good conversation, and green environment at the top of the sales list are, yeah, are the top of the sales list of priorities. The range of service, services is highly dependent on the network of volunteers. The, the more professionals there are, the better the supply can, and the better the supply and management. Almost all seafaring centers have limited opening hours, ranging from two evenings a week to seven days a week, etc., etc. And then, what will the uh, situation be in 2050 with the digitalization and uh, things uh, 
we heard uh, a uh, presentation before. So uh, the seafarers have to be in the timeline uh, fit for purpose. So that's uh, what we have to work on as seafarer centers.